How to Find Inspiration. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. One of the things that a lot of us look for as business owners and executives, we look for inspiration on what the next move will be or how to come, how to overcome a certain problem. <clears throat> and the, this quote from Pablo Picasso, I, I saw this come up and I had to, had to comment on it. He says, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. That is, that is so true <laughs> that I had to bring it up here. And it, it should be more of a reminder than anything else. If you aren't aware of it, uh, then um, you need to pay closer attention <laughs> because if you think about all the times that you were inspired, it's while you were already in motion. And I found that uh, uh, meditation and motion have to go together in some sense. So you, you have to be able to have perspective, but you can't have it while doing nothing. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you, you might be able to achieve something by sitting on the top of a mountain, uh, meditating away from everybody, but you're going to achieve much more when you're in the thick of it and you step back and, and are able to pay attention and get inspiration in some other form. It, you have to be in the process. That's when the greatest pieces are gonna come to you is when you're in the process. It's not when you're away from stress, it's when you're in the stress. And it's not when you're lost in the stress, when you're totally worked up and either depressed or angry or upset, it's after that. <laughs> it, it, it's when you're in the muck, but you're not consumed by it, if that makes any sense. So you have to be around it. You have to have the stress out here. But if you can keep it out of here, inspiration will come. It's guaranteed. And we'll, it won't come on your time. It won't come when you want it. It's, a, it's the thief in the night <laughs> concept. You know, it, it shows up when you least expect it. But you'll get it because you're in motion, because you're attempting to go somewhere, attempting to achieve something. Even if what you're attempting to achieve and where you're attempting to go is complete folly, <laughs> you will get inspiration on what the next step should be, where the next step that you should go. You have to be willing to listen. And that's the main thing. And you can't expect it to pop up when you're doing nothing, when you're nowhere and you have no really sense of journey if you if you want to say so get moving get active start moving in a direction you think is the right way and inspiration will come to slap you around and really <laughs> send you in the right direction if you pay attention and you listen so hopefully that helps you know it's, it's little esoteric ideas i like to pop out there once in a while and see see if it uh, helps anybody if you're looking for more broad-based ideas to kind of uh encourage inspiration i recommend my book nine ways to amazon proof your business it really tosses a whole bunch of different ideas out there uh, to see what's going to stick and see what interests you and i also give you other sources that you can look into after this is more of a starting block for some of these ideas whether you're familiar with them or not or considered them for your business before not and uh, nine ways to amazon proof your business is all about making yourself so different that even Amazon.com can compete with you. So uh, go get a free copy at AmazonProofBook.com. We'll be back tomorrow night. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.